Hello there, my lovely Pisces. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning the freak in. Hope that you guys are having a great week so far and that you guys had a fantastic weekend. As you guys already know, this is going to be another general reading to see what kind of lunatic may be coming towards you. Keep in mind, <laughs> I know you guys keep in mind the situation here could be vice versa or interchangeable, okay? If you are watching this for a Pisces, a Pisces may have done this, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're watching a general tarot reading. What may not resonate for you could resonate for the next person. All right. So here we go. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Pisces in love, Spirit? What is coming towards Pisces in love, Pisces? Ooh, okay. Pisces, you have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship and deception doesn't always have to mean lying about like cheating type of deception it could just be self-deception lying to yourself you know um past life relationship you have known each other before so some of you may feel like this person is you know a soulmate and they could definitely be what's coming towards pisces what do you have for pisces and love spirit pisces pisces okay all right so Pisces, you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe this is someone that you have children with. Um, or maybe a motherfucker is just acting very childish, right? All right. Hiding behind a false mask is childish, okay? <laughs> Pisces. Pisces. Pisces in love. What are some of Pisces? I can already see that you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. I also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Um, why do I feel like you're in a Queen of Swords energy, Pisces? You could have Aquarius in your chart or Air in your chart. I kind of feel like you're like, well, hold on, motherfucker. No way. I just feel like you're not taking any bullshit. It's kind of what I'm feeling. You could be dealing with someone. Here comes the childish card. This person could be very childish, Pisces. Okay, you could definitely be dealing with somebody um, who needs to just grow the freak up. Okay, um, so maybe somebody that um, very immature, right? Maybe they're hiding behind their feelings, but the King of Cups is here, so it's almost like there's feelings for you, but maybe they want to play the field or some shit. They're not relationship material. Let's see. What is coming towards Pisces in love? Tell me more about this love situation for Pisces in love. What is coming? Ooh. What is coming towards Pisces in love? Yeah, somebody, a lot of people are pulling the nine of swords lately, Pisces. This person, whoever the hell this person is, um, you know, somebody is definitely, let's just say they're not sleeping too well, Pisces, okay? It's very cold out there, Pisces. Somebody may come want to come in from the cold. <laughs> Mojo, go! They want you to warm them up, Pisces. Um, they just want to be next to you again. They want to be with you again. But I feel like you're like not so keen to deal with this person. It could be a fire sign, like I said. Um, air sign here, right? I feel like you're trying to get over a situation. Someone's been trying to get over something here. Maybe this person ghosted you, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces in love? Tell me more for Pisces in love. Pisces. Hmm. Seven of Cups. You know what, Pisces? I feel like someone's very confused. Maybe you're just very confused by this person's behavior. You just don't know what the hell's wrong with them. <laughs> um, somebody could definitely be very head over heart. Somebody could be blocked off, guarded off in regards to their feelings for you. It's almost like you feel shut out by this person in some type of way. I feel like you guys may not be talking, though. Four swords in reverse. There's a lot of swords here. I feel like someone has definitely um, is feeling like 
regret, right? Very regretful, remorseful, guilty. Like I should have said this instead of that, or I should have did. All right, well, what's coming towards Pisces and love? Pisces, Pisces. Wow. Pisces, are you freaking sad? Somebody's very sad here. Someone's sad. This could be someone who lives long distance, Pisces. I feel like someone's waiting for you. They're waiting. They want to hear from you. They want to hear from you with the three of wands. Could be someone, like I said, who's in denial. Someone's in denial here. Two of swords. And it's like the more they're in denial is the more it's making it worse on them, you know? They can't sleep at night. They're dreaming about you. They daydream about you. They fantasize about you. I feel like they, um, they're um they trying to act like they're over it or some shit, but they're really not. I just feel like somebody's really um in this Nine of Wands energy, okay? Pisces, um, you are this person, but someone's feeling guarded. They are. And this person is wounded from previous relationships. It's hard for them to trust, to let other people in. There may have been a very strong connection shared here, Pisces. Um, but they're afraid. They're afraid, Pisces. They're afraid. Okay. So you have past life relationship and the lover. So this could definitely be a twin flame situation. What's coming towards Pisces and love? So someone is very sad feeling as though they missed their shot. They blew it. <laughs> you know, it's a missed opportunity. Maybe you're very sad, Pisces, over this person in this situation. I feel like you're, just, you're trying to get over it, though. You have two fives here, so that definitely indicates that there is some, some type of difficulty going on in this situation. Emotional difficulty. Someone finds it hard to move on from you. Um, I don't know. What's wrong with this person, Pisces? Could be an Aries. Hmm. Something, I keep hearing long distance, Pisces. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords for Pisces and Love Spirit. What is the Nine of Swords about? Nine of Swords for Pisces and Love. Maybe this person is a player, okay, or they were a player. And um, maybe there were red flags that you did not see before. Because the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups could be seeing things how you want to see it, you know, being in denial, blindfolding yourself, not seeing the truth, rose-colored glasses type thing, okay? Oh. Hmm. But for the majority of you Pisces, I feel like this is a situation to where someone's emotionally unavailable. Um, I, I see this person drinking a lot, smoking a lot when they think about you. I think this is someone who definitely has a lot of emotional problems. Um, King of Cups in Reverse is the opposite of what he is of right, which is loving, caring. He's able to feel, but in a, in a reverse, he's emotionally unavailable. Whew. Wow. Two of Swords for Pisces in love. Two of Swords for Pisces and love. Two of Swords. Ooh, yeah, this person doesn't want to get their heart broken, Pisces. Three of Swords. They don't want to. Obviously, this situation breaks your heart, right? But whoever's so damn guarded that they just can't let you get close to them and they're, they just shut down. Um, the reason why they're like that is because they, 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 they don't want to let you hurt them. They don't want to give you any opportunity to hurt them. Okay, that's what it, that's what it's about. Okay, five of pentacles in a reverse, please. Yeah, somebody wants to come out of the cold and work on this and do something about it. Somebody wants to take things to the next level, but the other person is just too busy, possibly looking back at their past with a lot of regret. Their past is causing them to. Someone is just stuck in the past, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing. Seven of cups. They're stuck in the past. How can you enjoy the present when you're stuck in the past, you know? This person um, is very, very, maybe they're, they've been very mean to you, very tyrannical to you. Um, I just feel like this person hasn't been the nicest person to you, Pisces. Could be a, um, an Aquarius. But I just feel like this is someone who's very, like, head over heart. Extremely head over heart. Extremely. And this may have definitely led to arguments between you two because there's a lot of confusion here. Woo! Four of Swords in the reverse, please, for Pisces. Wow. 
So I feel like Pisces, some of you are just like, if you guys are currently separated from each other, you just kind of feel like this person's really mean or they don't take you into consideration or how something like that. Okay. But I feel like someone wants to come out of the separation and they want to move things forward and, you know, be peaceful with you again and work through your issues. But I kind of feel like Pisces, some of you just kind of give up on this person. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you're like, you know what? <laughs> there is no fixing you. If you're emotionally unavailable, that's your deal. I can't do anything. Maybe you tried. Um, Three of Wands, you tried to love them. You tried to... Um, but to no avail, you know? Or cross watchers, you try to love this Pisces, but there's no, to no avail. I feel like Pisces, um, could be a Leo involved here. You could have Leo in your chart, but I feel like some of you just been waiting and you just kind of feel like you're waiting in vain. But whoever's on the receiving end of the situation, Pisces, I see someone just turning their back and just deciding to keep their options open. Um, because they just feel like they're not getting much. They're not getting much out of this person. Five of Cups for Pisces, please, in love. Five of Cups, Spirit, for Pisces, in love. The Knight of Wands. Five of Cups for Pisces, in love. I don't know why I'm hearing like a move was supposed to happen. Or maybe this person moved away for some of you. I feel like for some of you, this person was just hiding behind player ways. Because I just feel like this is someone who's not really like a player player. It's just that they're so emotionally unavailable. They would rather just... And, so, and that's how some players are. They're just emotionally unavailable. That's all that it is. They don't want to let people get too close to them. So they just adopt this player lifestyle. Like, I don't give a fuck. But deep down, they do. But... I think you know that this person's not fooling you. The Hierophant, the Moon could be a Taurus. This, whoever the hell this person is, they're not, they're not fooling you. Some, some of you, someone may have traveled for work or took a job abroad or moved away or something. Six of Swords in the reverse, please. Six of Swords in the reverse. It's almost like someone just feels like they like uncared about. Like someone feels like they're uncared about. Someone wants to get back together though. This person may want to get back together with you. If they were like this with you, they, they are definitely feeling a lot of guilt, regret. I think this person really acted childishly. They should have just said it. I'm just kind of hearing like you should have just said you're not ready for a relationship. That's all you needed to say. Some of you may feel led on by this person or some crap like that. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I think that you just stopped pour, um, giving this person your time, your energy. You just stop giving a damn what it looks like too much confusion you felt like you had to fight for them and you're exhausted you're exhausted anyway um what does this person want to say to pisces spirit what does this person want to say to pisces <clears throat> i lose sleep over you didn't i say that they're breaking their own heart pisces <laughs> this is so who's breaking their own heart <laughs> by doing this what does this person want to say to Pisces spirit? What do they want to say to Pisces? Wow, they say no, no one does it for me but you. You are a queen or you're a king. What does this person want to say to Pisces spirit? What does this person want to say to Pisces? <clears throat> so they feel like you're the baddest one yet. So you mean so much to me. So they feel like you mean so much to them, but they don't show that. They don't express that. What does this person want to say to Pisces? So it's like you wouldn't know how the hell they're feeling. You would think that they hate you with the way they act, you know? My life has been rough without you. Yeah. No more of that Pisces love, that Pi that good um, Pisces loving. You gave me the best sex ever. What does this person want to say to Pisces? I want to start a family with you. What does this person want to say to Pisces? Our connection is so strong, so they're afraid of it for some of you. Well, well, Pisces, you're definitely dealing with a motherfucker who's emotionally unavailable. Your love heals me. Could have been Libra as, as well. I feel like 
somebody may be very regretful on how they acted, how they handled things as well. It's kind of what I'm seeing, Pisces. I just keep seeing someone saying, I should have never said that. I wish I said something else or I handled things differently. What does this person want to say? Oh, who is Pisces dealing with? One big handful. Pisces, you have an Eiffel Tower, so there could be something about um, France, okay, or, you know, Paris, Paris, France. Um, there's skulls here, cats here, A, two A's, ooh, strong A. K, music, someone does music, H, turtle, Z, N, N. K N. So there's star K and N and A. There's an L here as well. There's an L here as well. Who is Pisces dealing with? Damn, K again. Another N, an E, a C, and an S, and a U. All right so that is oh there was a b in there as well so that's what i have for you pisces um did i pull any of these cards for you guys i probably didn't let me pull some of these pisces love connection please pisces love connection so something about thought patterns yeah see someone's thought patterns is kind of killing things um maybe you're having a lot of dreams about this person dreams Get out of your your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Someone needs to get out of their head and into their heart. Maybe there could be fights between you two because someone has trust issues. Um, somebody just let their mind go to different crazy places, you know, and it just sabotages things. But parasitic, symbiotic, or symbiotic. One party benefits while the other is depleted. Energy, support, and empathy. There needs to be give and take needs to be some balance here so you feel like you're overly giving yourself to this person and they're not giving you a damn in return but um we can clearly see that currently they're feeling a lot of regret a lot of remorse um but to be honest i don't always say communication when i don't see it okay i don't do that shit not really seeing communication right now um i kind of see someone just kind of just t deciding to turn their back from this situation um yeah that's just what i see i just see somebody just sitting around regretting it and shit and going crazy but maybe not saying anything or doing anything about it okay all right pisces so that's what we got see you guys next time